Hello Gemini. I'm hoping everyone is doing well. This will be your weekly reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Mars for um, August 26th through September the 1st. So we're closing the month with this uh, weekly reading. I've already uploaded 19 through the 25th. I will include it in the description box below for the, the ones that are interested. So let's see, how is this week unfolding? What does the universe want you to know? What is the situation here that is important? Any changes, um, events, possibilities? And how is that unfolding? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, please. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars, 26th through September 1st. Let's see what's going on. What are the possibilities? One more. The Ace of Wands. Huh. If something you have been waiting here to receive something, now it's starting. The Page of Pentacles um, came before here as well. So I feel like, are you going to receive like an offer or some type of messages? Um, money for some of you. You guys had the Six of Pentacles. I do believe the Six of Pentacles came from uh, for the 19th uh, through the 25th. Or receiving or some type of balance, some type of exchange here. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I, I like it's, It feels like a deja vu, but the Six of Cups, this is nice. Like there's this beautiful... Um, emotional and physical balance here it can be regarding a soulmate it can be you know you finally finding your place here the sixes are part of the lovers which is your card again you feeling something completes you physically here and when it comes to emotionally but and there's another the seven of pentacles it feels like there's rewards coming in movement to something better but let's see all right, so what is the situation? The Five of Wands here, which is Saturnian in Leo. So there's a tension. Remember that mutual energy. When this comes in, I don't know if there's something about competition. We will see something that has to do with your desires, but you feel like those desires are being uh, restricted. There's two people here that are pulling in different directions. So it's like who has more strength, who has more endurance. Remember Saturn, who, who's going to like a kind of um, overcome uh, uh, obstacles. But I feel like, and it might be an internal struggle here. You, you're fighting with your own self here. Hmm. Fire. The page of one. I don't feel like you're gonna find a, a challenge here with a page of wands. That's why I said, are you? Is this internal struggle? Do you feel like should I um, go towards it? Should I not? Can I be spontaneous again? Thinking of that restriction and that obstacle and challenge here when it comes to even a message or something that you want to pursue that you feel excited. But again, I, I've mentioned also in the previous readings here because Saturn in Pisces is squaring you, is creating this friction, this tension when it comes to your desires. The Page of Wands is carefree. Messages, the strong will, um, spontaneous, adventurous. So it's something, again, that you want. There's the Three of Wands keeps coming for you guys. Always. So you have made plans and you feel like those plans are coming very soon. So what do you need right now to do quickly? Fire, fire, fire. This is like hot, hot, hot kind of energy. Quick, 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 immediate. Um, it's like you can see uh, on the horizon here something coming in. Is it that message? Is it, again, those plans? The shipment is kind of coming in. Traveling here for some of you, you've been making these plans. And you feel like something now is getting a little bit restrictive. The Queen of Pentacles here is coming in the recent past or past. This is such a different energy. Abundant, calm, patient. Um, remember with uh, Six of Pentacles. I don't know if this is you or someone that is coming towards you that brings this uh, abundance. Practical matters here. But... 
it's it's conflicted guys maybe also because venus is in virgo <laughs> and it is also squaring you so it's still creating some type of friction when it comes to practical matters I'm going to clarify all of this. I don't know what's going on. But still, the energy is nice because the Queen of Pentacles is going to provide certain when it comes to sensuality, abundance. Man, this Emperor. And I pre-shuffled and shuffled in front of you. Aries had this. Taurus had this. You, Gemini, have this. North Node is in Aries. So I feel like, again, it's kind of pushing us towards... Uh, our pathway here our calling so I feel like whatever is restrictive you want to be here it might be some of you is like a, a position a role here you have authority you got it uh, that's what you feel like in this situation this is by the way also um, sun in Aries so I feel like whatever this tension you're in control you have the leading role here you have the authority or you're hoping that someone here is not going to push your buttons here or kind of restrict you restrict you there you are with mars in gemini which is going on right now the nine of swords i did a love reading on my other channel for you guys and you got the nine of swords so you, you're overthinking it you're, you're stressed about a, a situation here that you've been waiting and anticipating to happen quickly and swiftly. We'll see how this is going on, but... Who had this? I believe Aquarius as well. You have the wisdom. It's like I feel like, again, there's something here that you are letting it bother you too much. There you are with the magician. Look... No matter what's happening here, I look at, and I'm going to look at uh, also, again, your hopes and fears and the possible outcome, and we will clarify. But this is what do you feel is going to happen? Your crown chakra here, which I like it. You're in that leading role here, position. And this is how you're going to act with the magician. So whatever are these uh, situations, um, and if you have Taurus in your chart, look at that reading as well. You feel like, no, I can uh, make things possible here. Again, with the magician, it's like I can make miracles. I have this strong uh, perception, the tools, um, the ability here to turn everything around. So I, I feel like no matter what, you got it under control, whatever that is. You're gathering, especially with the restriction, you, you feel like you're gathering this information or these potentials. And you're trying to, to feel like I need to do something here. You're manifesting. I've mentioned again, Jupiter is in your sign. It has to do about many gifts here, many potentials. But um, no matter what, you, you um, or you're discovering new tools here, new abilities, or you, your mindset is like uh, kind of... Um, towards i feel like manifestation or like greater uh, opportunities here oh my god the empress is external what you don't see or this is a person okay now i like it because it's very creative creative projects it may be that queen of pentacles abundance here oh and we have the perfect match the emperor and the empress You don't see this, but there's going to be so much abundance for some of you. I don't know if there's family or children created for it's just it's going to be different. Um, but ju just know, I feel like the, the the last time it was the the will of fortune that kept coming for you guys now. And I said the the planet of luck now is the planet of love. Venus, again, as I mentioned, it is going to to go to uh, Libra and then you're going to feel like things are flowing more easily when it comes to you but this is abundance this is creativity this is nurturing this is unconditional love okay this is so beautiful oh my god look at this so now i'm looking at you are opening up and creating the life that you want here i said remember the sixes hmm this when I was pre-shuffling for Taurus, this came, by the way. 
So in the, your hopes and fears is between you and someone else. But what stops you guys? If you are questioning how they feel or you've, um, you think that is unrequited, again, you're matching energies. This is your other half or this is your significant other. You complement each other. Because again, the Empress is coming as loving. Wow, okay. Your best choice, remember, if it is not about a person, which I feel like you're waiting, that's your, whatever the tension, you know where your heart is leading. <laughs> Who are these? Aquarius said this as well. Wow. By the way, this is um, Venus in Scorpio, and we have the King of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Um, the Seven of Cups is going to bring many, many uh, dreams many possibilities, many emotions, um, another Venusian energy. And again, it's going to result in someone finally feeling like this is, my heart is full, this is what I want. And I feel like it's between you and someone else. But remember, guys, I, I look at the Seven of Cups as um, kind of foggy and elusive and daydreaming because you might be feeling that on cloud nine in a way here because of these emotions but it's telling you like be clear in what you need here to choose from those cups you are trying here to stay in control when it comes to a person but um the seven of cups is still a challenge emotionally because number seven remember we need like a direction you will be swimming in all of these feelings and because it is Venus, it is about love, it is about values, it is about, um, when it comes here also, look, I don't want to say currency, but remember the six of uh, pentacles and the six of cups. What is this balance? And after that, uh, what it is like, we feel like, what's the next step? It's uh, not everything is for your own benefit with the seven of cups. You have to navigate and you have to kind of get into the depth of real emotions here to understand which cup is yours. Which again, the king of cups is holding that cup and he's saying, I know, in the end, I feel like you're going to understand here. Uh, I want to say it's about love, this reading mostly here. About a connection or about you following your heart. Let's see. Let's see. Whatever you're struggling, um, I feel like it's opening up like Pandora's box here. All these feelings are out now. What is the Five of Wands? <sighs> oh my God. I'm, okay, guys, it, it feels like it's a love reading. I try to keep this general and I'm just going to mention for a few here. I don't know if you're struggling then between when it comes uh, to a matter here regarding career stability. Um, but your heart is pushing you in one direction. And you feeling like you are resisting it. And both of you, I don't know, between the two of you, look at like the Nine of Cups, the, the Knight of Cups, the Lovers is like, no matter how much you try to resist or push here, both of you, or when it comes to um, the heart, it's going to kind of come more here with feelings. The more you resist it here, like all these feelings are coming out. Now, like you feel like, what? why do I have this? Why do I um, have this dream or this emotion? It's like it's going to come everything overwhelmingly here towards you. But it's because there's a wish fulfillment and there's someone that wants to take actions or proposals here. The challenge is can someone be carefree and not worry and just or send that message? What is the page of wands? Yeah, that's the fear. Ooh, okay, definitely that's the fear. We have the Queen of Swords and the Death card. I will mention, if you do have Taurus in your chart or your person, some of you, they had the Death card. So this is like no coming back. Once the Queen of Swords is done, especially if someone also has Scorpio, once, you know, I'm done, I'm done here. But it feels like there's a potential, like someone is like, hmm, there's still that, I'm going to go towards it, that, that, that excitement. So I don't know if it's the challenge of what you're leaving behind or what do you feel like you have to explore a situation with someone you thought it was over. Someone maybe has changed. I 
I, I feel like something is going to open up here. Someone is going to be like, I think also the Page of Wands is like a young Sagittarius or even Aries, impulsive a little bit. It's like, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to go and, you know, send that message and see how this is going to, um, to go. And I, I don't know, again, if you are the King of Cups, if you are the Queen of Swords, it doesn't matter. There's something here that is coming towards you and you are going to decide. That's why with the Three of Wands, it's like, I've sent this or I have been planning for this. Now I, I'm, I'm waiting for the return. What is uh, the Three of Wands? Okay. Something is coming out here in, in the publicly because we have the the moon, which again feels like uh, something that is being elusive, hidden, but you're waiting for some type of recognition. You're waiting for some praise, something maybe again that has... Uh, not being clear yet but this is public image coming out of a hidden situation here publicly declaration love um, recognition i don't know if it is uh, someone you work with there's been a lot of planning a lot of planning uh, but there is also, I don't know, some of you are, if I, you are going through divorce, your person is someone of importance, and you're looking for marriage and commitment, a partnership. What is the Queen of Pentacles, please? Guys, like I'm getting a few people here. Yeah, the King of Cups again. I don't know if there's been a situation in the past you and this person that someone was not able to um, act because I'm getting two kings here, the king of swords. And usually when I look at the king of swords and the queen of swords, or there's a divorce energy or two people have been cold and detached and have not been able to open up their feelings. But I feel like now, again, those feelings cannot be held back anymore. What is the emperor? Yeah, that's why Mars in Aries. Okay, or you, you feel like someone should be very clear here when it comes to proposals, which I feel like you, Scorpio, who had this? Like, if I see the Knight of Cups, by the way, with the Two of Wands, to me, definitely there is someone that wants to propose, has intentions, is, is that kind of like, where is this going to lead? But this is very kind of in a dominant energy that, hey, this is where I'm going. Whatever those two choices are, um, this is where it's leading. So that's what you think is best. Or this person finally to take charge here, uh, to propose the future. Again, this is like looking at the vision of the future here and feeling like this is my empire. This is my family. This is my castle. This is my position. That's what you're thinking. In control, clear on your intentions. Because again, you're expecting to be or in this leading role or in this success. Whatever here that you feel like you have been building and planning for some time. Three, three here, part of the Empress, which again, fruition and abundance is coming in. Creation is coming in. What is the Nine of Swords? Yeah, there's the Saturnian energy. You know, you, you're dealing with a lot. And I don't know if this is the person that is coming towards you stressed because of their intuition, very Piscean, and their thoughts. You're... you're I feel like, again, there's something here that you know you are this person and you're questioning it. A lot of worry. Um, and it's interesting. We have the Eight of Cups and it's coming the Seven of Cups. I, I feel like if you um, are worried you are this person, he's saying, okay, let's go back. Let's go back to all those emotions here so you can understand exactly uh, maybe there there needs to be one more time here revisiting situations. So maybe whatever your intuition has been telling you now is going to be reinforced. But is that going back to all those feelings, all those emotions? Um, 
it seems like with the seven of cups and this worries you because i don't know if you have tried to let go of something um walk away what is the magician please what is the magician yeah um okay it's like i'm getting some of the cards here with aries and taurus but uh, i i like it because Again, Virgo energy here. The Ace of Swords tells me that you are going to be able to see some t something here, like an idea or a breakthrough or clarity in a situation that, again, that is foggy. You're opening your mind here and you, you're gathering some kind of, especially with the Eight of Pentacles when it comes to work, to, when it comes to efforts, when it comes to expertise. Again, it's, it's like a mastery kind of energy that is coming in. Okay, this is what I have. This is what I'm going to do. If you've been working on something again, finally now, you have um, a kind of these tools to start whatever you have wanted. Like you have done the, the, I feel like the hard work with the Eight of Pentacles or you have mastered something and now you're looking at things at all the possibilities that are coming in. What is the Empress, please? What is the Empress? Okay. So this is the unburdening. First of all, of something here that you have been trying to hang in there, feeling again another Saturnian restrictive, but there's this vision, different perspective. It's like, okay, step by step. And this might be a person, again, that finally is blossoming, is getting out of this um, hang up, um, restrictive, oppressive, taking time situation. So something is coming to fruition that you or this person has been waiting here for some time. What is the lovers? One more. Why this five of swords keeps coming in? I don't know. You're afraid here. Look at uh, the devil consumed by this desire. I feel like because you want to stay in control. And the five of swords, again, is like, I don't know if there's going to be defeat, hurt when it comes to you making this choice. like it feels um someone may take advantage here that's what you're afraid of you're hoping that whatever is this connection that is coming in there's no other agenda here there's no conflict there's not hurt there's not guilt or someone is trying to gain advantage over a situation why is this Again, remember, this is in your hopes and fears. Because of the Page of Wands, you see it's a little bit kind of um, awkward and uh, this Page of Wands here and fearful. It's curious, wants to open up, but is afraid. You, you want to make this choice, but you're not sure here how it's going to go, what's going to open up again. And what if you cannot control it? What if you get hurt? What is the Seven of Cups, please? Okay, guys, <laughs> swim in all those because it's going to open up to all the uh, aces here that you have. So that you will feel overwhelmed or it's going to come here, everything challenging you. Are you going to be able to see the opportunities through all of those um, dreams and possibilities? You're going to look at something and these two aces are very good together because it's like, again, earth and water. Um, when it comes to something portal, prosperity, and when it comes to love. And I feel like because this King of Cups is ready to open up. But yeah, whatever uh, the Cups here, the opportunities, you're going to be able to look at what's tangible, what's real, and choose here. What is the King of Cups? Which came twice, by the way. One more. All right. A reconciliation. Remember I said what was uh, that Six of Pentacles, something that needed here to balance mutual reciprocated this king of cups is bringing love reconciliation empathy especially help this is a such a generous person someone here i don't know if you are this person's um you know a shoulder to cry on and i'm saying this only because that three of cups is like gathering here talking uh and feeling safe where someone has felt 
not inclusive before or left out mercury both of these represent mercury one is mercury in taurus one is mercury in cancer so thoughts reconciliations here communication but that is coming from the heart that is coming here from generosity you are going to dog and you might be feeling like very stressed whatever is coming in because you're not sure here uh, what to leave behind what's ending uh, again this restriction but it's saying that it's going to open the door to real love to real friends to generosity emotional balance and uh, prosperity so um, do not dwell here on on that restriction because multiple new beginnings here uh, with the aces are coming in I truly hope this resonates with you guys Thank you, bye-bye.